Here's an example of a problem that can be solved using the divergence theorem. So we're given that f is a vector field in three-dimensional space, and we don't actually know what the vector field is, but we're given that the divergence of the vector field is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And we let s1 denote the unit sphere oriented outward. We let s2 denote the sphere of radius 2 oriented outward. We're given that the integral over s1 of f dot ds equals pi, and our problem is to calculate the integral over s2 of f dot ds. So how can we do that? Well, evidently we want to somehow apply the divergence theorem. So let's draw a picture of these surfaces, and I'm actually just going to draw a cross section, otherwise it will be too hard to draw. So I have the sphere of radius 1 here, and outside of that I have the sphere of radius 2. And these are oriented outward. And I'm given, okay, so this is S1 and this is S2, and I'm given the flux across S1 and I'm supposed to find the flux across S2. Now, the divergence theorem tells me that if I have a solid three-dimensional region, then the net flux over the boundary is equal to the integral of the divergence over the interior. So I need to find a solid region to use, and I want to relate the flux over S1 to the flux over S2. So why don't I take my solid region to be the solid region that's in between the two surfaces, like this. So this will be our region E. Then, so in equations E is the set of x, y, z such that x squared plus y squared plus e squared is between 1 and 4. And what does the divergence theorem say? Well, it says that the triple integral over e of the divergence of f dv is equal to the flux over the boundary. So the outer boundary is the integral or double integral over s2 of f dot ds. But then what's the other boundary? Well, it's s1. The rest of the boundary is s1, but in the divergence theorem you need to be oriented pointing out of the solid region E. But the orientation of S1 that we're given points, well, outward from the center of the sphere, but it points inward towards E. So in the divergence theorem, I actually need to subtract the double integral over S1 of f dot ds. Okay, so so this here, this integral, this is oriented outward from the center. But that's the wrong orientation to use in the divergence theorem, because the divergence theorem it should be outward from E, which would be inward towards the center. So that's why I have to subtract it, is when you switch the orientation, you switch the sign of the integral. Okay, now this is the thing we were supposed to find. So we want to calculate this. And we're given that this integral is equal to pi. So we just have to calculate this triple integral of the divergence and add. Right, so the answer that we're supposed to find is pi plus the triple integral over e of the divergence of f. So let's do this calculation on the next page. So what's the triple integral over e of the divergence of f? So remember that e is the region where 1 is less than or equal to x squared plus y squared plus e squared is less than or equal to 4, and the divergence of f is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus c squared. 
So this is an ideal situation in which to use spherical coordinates. So in spherical coordinates, this is the region where rho, the distance from the origin, is between 1 and 2. And phi and theta can be anything. So phi goes from 0 to pi, theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, and rho goes from 1 to 2. And now the divergence is just rho. So I have rho, and then I have the magnification factor, which is rho squared sine phi, and then I have d rho d theta d phi. So doing the rho integral first, um, I need to integrate rho cubed sine phi, so it's going to be rho to the fourth over four sine phi, evaluate it at rho equals two and rho equals one. So this is 16 over 4 minus 1 over 4, so that's 15 over 4, sine phi d theta d phi. And when I integrate over theta, I just multiply by 2 pi. So this is 15 pi over 2, sine phi d phi. And if you've been doing calculus for this whole course, then you probably know immediately that the integral sine phi from 0 to pi is 2. So this is equal to 15 pi. And remember the answer that we needed to get was pi plus this. So it's pi plus the triple integral over e of div f dv. So that's pi plus 15 pi, which is 16 pi. So the key, key trick to remember is we want to relate the fluxes across the two surfaces, and we do that by integrating the divergence over the solid region that's in between the two surfaces. And we have to be very careful to get the orientations right, otherwise we're going to have some wrong signs in our formulas and we'll get the wrong answer.